So let's talk about some basic characteristics of pyogenic liver abscesses and how we can use these characteristics to help us distinguish this type of abscesses from other lesions such as biloma. So on the first image, image A, we have what we would call a moderate weighted T2 sequence and by that we mean that the TE is going to be around 80 uh, and you can compare that with T1 imaging that's going to be much lower uh, in terms of the numbers. The heavy T2 weighted image can go a lot higher up to 180 milliseconds so that's just to give you an idea of the underlying physics. So the first one is a moderate uh, T2 sequence and we see some hyperintensity. We also see there are different uh, kind of clusters of, of this type of uh, hyperintensities and this here seems like they're uh, joining together so they probably were separate ones and now it's growing and it's getting it's, it's getting a, like a coalescent into a bigger lesion. Here we start seeing the T1 sequences so B and C are both going to be T1s and we're going to see the pattern of enhancement so we, we notice there's some enhancement around the lesions maybe it's not uh, as conspicuous because the liver itself is also having some enhancement so that might not be entirely clear but there's definitely some enhancement there. In addition we move here to the DWI and this is going to be important because the restricted diffusion is going to be an important characteristic of abscesses although you know both in, in body and, and neuro MR we need to know that um, abscesses don't always restrict especially from different organisms but that's a more specialized subject in general we expect to have restricted diffusion from an abscess. And the other part that's important, we always want to verify our restricted diffusion with our ADC map. And what this shows us is that whatever's right here corresponds with a decreased signal in the ADC map. And you might wonder why do we need this? And the reason is that this brightness here might be an artifact called T2 shine through. So we have a lesion that's very um, hyper intense on T2. When we do the DWI, it might appear like it's hyper intense but on the ADC map uh, it also shows increased signal so that way we know it's not a real restricted diffusion it's more that the T2 component of the sequence is, is shining through it's ref being reflected on this other imaging and in that case that wouldn't be a real sign of restricted diffusion so that's very important and in this case all the overall findings are consistent with a pyogenic abscess and we must compare that to other lesions. For example, when we have a, a lesion like the one I'm showing here, this lesion is going to be uh, on the first one we see somewhat uh, homogeneous type of, uh, of uh, signal intensity consistent with uh, a T2 signal and a cystic, more of cystic lesion. Uh, as we move on we see on the, on the T1 it's more hypodense and on the T1 after contrast it shows some contrast enhancement and this was a, uh, a biloma and the difference I wanted to point out as you compared to the other one that was a pyogenic abscess is that this one is a mainly a single lesion uh, and pyogenic abscesses tend to be multiple although they can be unilocular they tend to be multiple lesions that um, get grow and, and uh, coalesce together forming larger groups of lesions so that's an important distinction to have in mind